You're watching WMAR 2 News. A man celebrating his birthday is shot in South Baltimore. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. Police say that shooting happened around 5.30 Tuesday night in the Lakeland neighborhood. People had gathered for a party when shots were fired. Bullets struck a home and a car where the 24-year-old man was sitting with his brother. Police say he was shot in the elbow and taken to the hospital. Now, several children and adults were in the house at the time of the shooting. They were not injured. So far, no arrests have been made. Police have now identified the person killed in a shooting in downtown Baltimore. They say 25 year old Ryan Harris was killed last Thursday morning on East Redwood Street near Calvert. That's right near the Hotel RL. Officers had found two men who had been shot. Harris died at the hospital. He was a sergeant with the U.S. Army Reserve with the 200th Military Police Command at Fort Meade. Major General John Hussey, the commanding general with the 200th, released a statement about Harris's death, saying he was a young man doing the right things and that the command is truly diminished with Ryan's loss. Well, two nonprofits are donating $10 million to Johns Hopkins to help further its cancer research. Some of that money is going to be used for an imaging platform called Astropath. Scientists say Astropath allows them to see what treatments might be the best for patients by learning how cancers respond to different immune systems. The donations are being made by the Mark Foundation for Cancer Research and the Bloomberg Kimmel Institute for Cancer Immunotherapy. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, Maryland. Here's a check at our high temperatures today. Topping out near average for this time of year in the mid 80s, and it's going to feel humid out there this afternoon. I like to call it the air that you can wear because of those dew points. They're going to be well into the 60s today. Uh, we do have that slight risk in place for the Baltimore Metro and for areas farther west, but what does that mean? Any showers or storms that we deal with across our far western suburbs have the opportunity of uh, not only being short it lives, but also a little bit intense at times. So not just dealing with the potential for some flash flooding, but also uh, that potential for even large sized hail and even damaging winds will be the major threats. The chance for rain will really start to thin out a little bit right around midnight, and then we could be waking up to some of that rain, even some thunderstorm activity early tomorrow morning. So once again, damaging winds, large hail and isolated flash flooding will all be on the table for today. Again, that severe weather window opens right around three o'clock this afternoon and closes right around sunset. Showers will linger into your Thursday, looking a lot drier for Friday, warm and humid for the weekend. Megan. Stevie, thank you, and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates to stories and for your news and weather while you're on the go, especially on a severe weather day like today. You can download the WMAR2news app in your phone's app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.